Yes, well, authorities say that some of the snakes owned as pets were held illegally and owned illegally in the city of Aliquippa, and they were brought to a reptile shop here in Ambridge. First, the body of a 23-year-old man found in his house at the corner of McMinn and Reed Street. And then inside, more than 200 snakes. Jim Balagna is the Aliquippa Code Enforcement Officer. What was your reaction when you walked into the house? I was in shock just like everybody else who walked in. You're used to it's, dealing with animals. I'm used to dealing with all kinds of other animals, and this is my first reptile experience. Authorities say the deceased man lived with three other people. They also say whoever owns the snakes were in violation of the city's ordinance because some of the snakes are venomous. This is a red diamond rattlesnake as one of the venomous species removed from the house with several others. We only removed the venomous snakes and they removed them in the enclosures they were in already due to um, safety concerns. They were brought here. It's off the hook exotic pets. It's a pet shop and also a place that serves as a rescue facility for exotic pets, including reptiles. Several dozen of the snakes removed from the house are venomous. Possibly 50 or 60 snakes. I haven't done a proper head count. We're still processing every snake. The owner tells us what happens next. From what I can see, most of them are healthy. Uh, they're going to be healthy, happy here. We're going to make sure that we water them good and check them over for parasites, make sure they're quarantined. Because uh, the last thing we want to have is any of them have any trouble with us because there are quite a few snakes. Now, authorities say that it could take six to eight weeks to run toxicology tests to determine the cause of death for the man who was found inside the house. In the meantime, they say that they've assured residents in the area that there was no threat of any snakes moving randomly throughout the neighborhood. Reporting live from Ambridge in Beaver County, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.